everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cool gatefold diamond fold cards. <laughs> They're called, well, the lady who I saw it off is called Debbie Henderson and she called it the diamond fold card. But I've named other cards diamond fold cards. And this is, of the, you know, double and it's also a gatefold. So I may just put gatefold diamond or diamond gatefold, I don't know. Anyway, this is the version that I first saw, like I said, over on Debbie Henderson's channel and I will link her version below. Now her version is smaller, I think this was four and let me just check here, not the best ruler, it's just the one at hand. So this is four and a quarter by one, two, three, four and a half, which is just a little bit of an odd size for me. I tend to do six by six or five by seven. So I've decided to change Debbie's measurements um, and I just, yeah, I've just played around with it, with it a little bit. So the initial idea is this is the one that I put together, um, which is Debbie's one. And she has a flap piece that comes down, which creates like an envelope in itself, which she tucks in here, which again is a nice different way of doing it. But I wanted to have this bit more centralized and I wanted to go a little bit bigger. And I'm turning this piece here into a pocket. So like I said, I'll leave Debbie's link below. Go and have a look there for more inspiration. But these are my ones here. So I've done a 6x6 version, this one. And I've then also done this 5x7 version. So same concept. So you've got these two here. So when it stands up, it will be like this. It's got a really nice profile. You can have them closer together. You can have them kind of further out like so. It's entirely up to the person. They've got this nice piece here, which just in this case reads happy birthday and that's all embossed. And then here on this sheet is where you would write your message. So that piece is kind of hidden. So if you want to write something, you maybe you know, don't want everybody reading it, then you know this could be just maybe a little note to say card or something. So I just think it's quite nice and you, it's double-sided. You could obviously, you know, if you're gonna write an essay, <laughs> you've got plenty of room. And there's also a lady, I forget her name, I'm really sorry, but she does a lot of my cards and she adds extra pages or she may go even more larger in size because she does a lot of them for people, her colleagues in work to write in for someone's, you know, birthday or if they're leaving, etc. And she came into mind with this one because I thought this could be a good one for you because you've got double sides there to get everybody to sign. And you could also add, you know, a couple of these panels in there. There's, there's easily room to be able to put a few more. So again, if you do make cards for your work colleagues or you need lots of people to sign them, then this one would work well. So that's the six by six version, which I love. And then I also love five by seven cards. So it's actually five by six, but once you incorporate your little pulley here, then that takes it up to seven. And then again, this comes out and this has got a gold embossed happy birthday. I'll share everything that I've used. And again, it stands up and it's got a really nice profile. And again, you pull out your tab and you've got that kind of panel there that sits nicely in the pocket. So I just thought it was, seems a shame to really kind of glue that down but then if you're not bothered about having this and you just want to have this section here then you know go for it but sometimes I do, I've got a thing about when you write to or whatever if you've got any kind of writing I've got a thing about being able to see it when the card's closed and I figured you know if you write that in here you would see it before they've even got to it so that's another reason why I've done these little pockets so that's kind of all hidden so that's literally what they see. So I'm going to show you how to make the 5 by 7 today, but the way I put this together is exactly the same way as putting together the 6 by 6 All the measurements for the 6 by 6 i.e. your mats and layers and stuff like that, will all be in my blog. So, pop that to one side. Okay, so that is the stamp that I've used. So I used the large happy birthday on the 5 by 7 and this one here on the 6 by 6 and I'm using, I think that same one there because I've already done that, but yeah, you can see it's just such a lovely font. It's beautiful. And this is the woodware. And these are called Big Birthday Words. Again, I've got them over on my Amazon shop storefront. I think they're on there. Um, otherwise, they'd be in my blog post anyway. So all the papers I'm using today are from the Gardenia beautiful one here. Now you do want to have a double sided for this one. You don't have to but I think it works better because for example here this lovely gingham is the other side of this print here. Um, that one you won't see it actually but it was more bugs but they kind of clashed so I just added this red panel which I'll show you. But you can see there how you get the reverse, that's the reverse of this paper. So yeah have a look see what you've got. Now I'll go through all the mats and layers as we get to them. I'm just going to get straight into the 
tutorial so we don't need the scoreboard for a moment so you want a piece of 12 by 12 I've got this lovely butterfly and on the other side is this stripe now the pattern that you want to see the most ie here you want to now flip it over so it's facing away from you okay now you also want a pattern that's going to work in any direction so you can see here the butterflies work anyway this particular kind of um, woodland kind of thing worked in any direction along with those ones there and again with the little ladybirds that I've got on this one so just bear that in mind but yeah so whatever print you want to be your main one turn it over turn your cardstock into a diamond orientation and fold over now you want to be working with a paper more than a more so than a cardstock so this is a thick paper because you're doubling it up it's going to start to become more of a cardstock so you do get that strength and once you've added all your mats and layers as well so okay so you want to pop it in that orientation then with your scoreboard bring that back in like I said, this is for the five by five, um, five by seven one that I'm doing. You want to pop your card in, so it's right. This corner here is right up into the left-hand corner there, and then you're going to score at three and a half and at six. Okay, then flip it over. So now you've got the other corner, and again score at three and a half and at six. Then pop it in like this again so this corner is right up in that corner there and you want to score at six inches so pop your stylus in keep it in the track all the way down and then when it joins the cardstock just score there until you've got a nice line okay so that's all of the scoring done okay then you just want to start burnishing your score lines so fold them across and with your foam folder just start to spread out the paper when it's in that folded um, you know in that fold because you don't want any buckling basically when we go to fold it all together then with these so these are those six inch score lines that I've just folded in then you'll have those three and a half inch ones you want to kind of reverse those ones so fold them back out in the opposite direction um, but you can fold them in that way as well it, it doesn't actually really matter at this point but I would say do it out in that direction and as you do I'm just lying that down and you're almost like you're pushing the air out like so and again with that one I'm going to fold it out that way and I'm just kind of folding everything off to that side there. Okay. You can start to see what we're going to do because these bits now here, so you've got this corner, fold that piece over, open that up, and as you open it, push the sides here down and just push right down here, you see, so you get a really nice point just there. Fold that down and make sure this point this point here lines up with this point here and you should have a perfect diamond shape okay and with every, you want everything to be lying completely flat so just every time you do a new fold score and burnish and make sure you've got no kind of buckling or anything so that's that one and just pop it in that direction as well and just score and then bring that one over open that up and again make sure you get a really nice point and that point lines up there you should have two perfect kind of squares or diamonds depending on which way you're looking at them and then fold it back out that way and fold it over okay and you can see now one should go over the other one perfectly now this is the bit where um, Debbie, Debbie Henderson, yeah, that's, I don't want to forget her name. She kept this one in, but hers was obviously shorter. And this came down and would pop inside there. So it acts as an envelope all in one. Have a look at it. You might like that one. But like I said, I thought this would look nice as a pocket. So what you want to do now is open it up and you just want to cut along that score line. 
So I'm removing the score line that you might see. So just to get rid of all of that and just remove that completely. What we'll be doing then is sticking these two side pieces and then that will leave this as a pocket ready for us to put those kind of panels in. So open all of this up, everything you've just burnished and open the whole thing out. And you'll see this is gonna be our pocket, these two big ones here. It's these here, these next ones, where we're gonna add our glue. They're the only ones you wanna to stick together. All of this here from these lines out is those kind of little squares, those tri um, diamond shapes that we have on the ends. So ignore the big, big middle section. It's the, the bits either side that you're gonna be gluing. So I'm just using some of my wet glue. You, you wanna put double-sided tape here, you can. I'm just going to run just a thin amount, you don't need tons, you don't want glue oozing out everywhere. And because um, if you are going to use a wet glue, make sure it's not a heavily water-based glue. So Cosmic Shimmer Glue, Art Glitter Glue, Tombow Glue, they're all good glues because they have a very, very low water content. And that means you won't get any warping and your card will stay nice and straight. So there we go, so now I'm gonna fold that over. And again, the key part is use your bone folder, not only to obviously spread out the glue, but to make sure you've got no air bubbles and you keep the whole piece flat. So I'm just following that all the way down to the end there. And again, on this side. And this is really the little tip so that you get this staying as a nice pocket. So now if we fold that over, see it's starting to lift a little bit there? Just get your bone folder. And while that glue's still moving around, you've got time to kind of sort it out a little bit. Okay, and then you can go and reinforce these back into place again. And this one here, like so. So now you should have your card and a pocket, okay? Don't worry if you've got a little bit of bowing, you're kind of gonna get that because you're just folding one piece over on itself. Pop that to one side, then you need two pieces that are three by three. Now I've just rounded off the three corners here and kept this one at a point because that is gonna stick over the top and it's gonna stick right down to that point there and cover like so. First of all, you want to pop some glue inside the two back pieces there and stick that down. Okay, and again with this one here. Okay, and then you want to add glue onto the front half. I think I might as well give up on that one. Start this one, there we go. Again, just a thin amount, you don't need a lot. And pop that one over the top. And again, that's why I like using the wet glue because you do have that little time to just wiggle everything around until you've got it perfectly lined up, like so. And then this one here. Always add the glue onto this and not onto that because these this way you know that this is the whole area that needs to be stuck down. And it doesn't matter if you don't round off the corners, it's entirely up to you. So if you don't have that, don't worry. It's just me adding extras. But now that contrast, Looks really nice. And you want to make sure that they line up and sit perfectly over the top of each other, which they do. One might go over better than the other. They're both the same, to be honest, but I think that looks really nice. And you may want to have something on the front of this that says, you know, something nice, I don't know, for you. And then obviously they open it up. It could be something else on there. You could have a Valentine's one. I love and then you inside. But I don't know if this is going to go up before Valentine's Day or not. So maybe not that one. But anyway, you know what I mean. So that's those two done. Then I have got this piece here, which is gonna go in the middle. And I've already, like I said, used silver embossing powder on that one. Now the outer mat is a four and a quarter by five and a quarter. And the smaller inner mat is three and three quarters by four and three quarters. So I'm gonna get that one stuck down now. Okay, so that's that one done. So now when you close it, you can't see any of the writing, which again is just me being a bit picky, but they're little things that I do do. So now I've got these three mats and layers. Again, it's entirely up to you. You may just want to do one, 
but I'm going to have those three and then I've gone ahead and die cut these two silver circles which are from my two inch punch. Now first of all I'm going to attach these onto this which is the main mat and this piece here is four and three quarters by six. So I'm going to stick this, right let me just throw <laughs> that one away because I keep picking up the wrong one. So I'm going to add some glue onto the back of this one and I'm just going to stick it halfway and then halfway in the middle of the cardstock like so then pop some more on this piece and stick that over the top so they line up so you may just want to keep that and you just pull that out that's entirely you know fine that's not a problem then I've got this layer to go on top which is four and a quarter by five and a half And then I've got this one here, which is what I will then write my message on. And this is three and three quarters by five. And you just want to stick that one on the top. Okay, so now that one will fit perfectly inside. And it will just poke out the top there. How nice is that? And then to finish off the very front here, I've kept it quite simple, but again, you can do you know tons and tons of ways to decorate this. I've just die cut some little daisies and then I'm going to stick that one there and I've already put some lovely little embellishments in the middle and again with that one there, stick that in the middle. You can put little leaves behind it if you want but I think that that looks really pretty and when that stands up like I said you can have them quite close together because that's how they look, I think that looks quite cool. Or you can have them like so, a little bit further out. Just, yeah, loads of ways. That is the profile. That's how it will look when it is up on the mantel or the side table, whatever it is. But then they will fold over. And it does fold pretty flat. I mean, you've got the bulk, obviously, from the embellishments there. But that will fit in an envelope. If not, then you'd have to make a little envelope box for it. But there you have it. So quite a quick car tutorial. So there's the two five by seven sizes and that is the six by six like I said if you do want the six by six version it's you put it together exactly the same way as I just showed you there but I will just give you the measurements for that one but it starts off with this with the same 12 by 12 piece of paper or cardstock put my spin on it anyway which is what I do tend to do if I get inspiration from someone else I like to put my twist on it I hope you like my twist give it a go and if you do please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more Thanks for watching, bye.